guys welcome back to my channel today I have for you a Morphe me unbagging this came in today so I was excited to hop on and show you what came in this month's bag <laughs> I almost said box so the theme for this month is aquatic dreams it looks like they've got a little mermaid gal on there and that's the reason for the glasses because I would like to be able to read to you what the descriptions are for each one of these. And so I'm going to go rather quickly so that you won't have to spend a lot of your time here looking at this because very quickly you're going to know if it's for you or whether it is not. And for those of you that are not familiar, Morphe Me is a monthly subscription program that sends you brushes every month. And I believe it's $10. Every time I do one of these, I think, you know, I probably should know how much it costs before I do it, do one of these videos so that if they want it, they know how much they're going to pay for it. I believe it's $10. I will make a note in the annotations if it is not. So the first brush that we have here has a black handle and it almost looks like a gunmetal type. It's not really silver. A gunmetal. Let me show you behind my hand here. It's a flat top kabuki type brush, very soft. It's called an E6. It says it is called a flat buffer. It says under the sea, your foundation is better with your new buffer. Take it from me, flat top to blend your products in. Just wait and see. Oh my, we have aquatic poems. <laughs> Anyways, cool brush. It's dense, but it has some give, so it'll be interesting to try and see if it's good as far as putting on foundation. Next, it talks about M577, and that is a, it says it is a jumbo crease brush. And here's the brush. It's kind of a pointed dome shaped brush. It's, it's pretty stiff. It's, it's soft, but it's, it's firm. Okay. It says M577 Jumbo Crease. Gadgets and gizmos galore. Aha. Uh -huh. It's a little mermaid reference. Gadgets and gizmos galore. Use your jumbo crease for a blend to live for. Get the thingamabobs you need with Morphe Me. So I would imagine that this would be a good brush for a lower lash line. Also, um, to go into the crease, I think for in the crease placement and maybe slight blending, but I think more so for placement of color into your crease. Next, we have an M578. It is called a pencil crease. And this is kind of like a smaller version of that brush that I just showed you. And obviously, it's a pointed crease brush, but I would think this is probably going to be best for outer corner detail or even lash line. It's really small and pointed and it's soft but it's firm enough to diffuse product out on the lash line. Our little corny poem here says, don't be a poor unfortunate soul with no pencil crease brush to define your eyes, keep your voice and your pretty face this month. Again, Little, Mer little Mermaid inspired poetry. And finally, M576 Pointed Blender. And I actually have several of these and I really and I really like them. Obviously, it's a it's a pointed fluffy brush, but I do like these for blending out the crease and even placement in the crease. It just depends, but I really like it to blend out something that I've already placed. And so it says, whether you're waiting for a kiss from your prince or dreaming to be under the sea, your pointed blender will give you the crease that you need. Ha, 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 ha. Anyways, cheesy, corny poetry, but nice brushes. And I would imagine that this one is the reason why there's only four brushes, because usually the face brushes are more expensive. I would not be opposed to an all eye brush um, Morphe Me bag because just for the reason that I really um, I have probably all the face brushes that I need and I think that face brushes are something that 
are kind of specialized as far as what you choose. It really has to do with what foundation you use and what skin type you have. And so I end up with a lot of face brushes that I, that I will never use. But I will always try or use whatever eye brushes come. So I, I'm not saying I don't like the bag. I'm happy with it. I'm always happy getting new brushes and I'll always, and I'll try this. I'll try all of them. But I think I would be just as happy with all eye brushes. So I'm excited to have some new brushes to um, take the place of the ones that I need to wash. <laughs> I have a rotation now where I put brushes that need to be washed in one little area and then I kind of rotate in another set of similar brushes and then by the time those are dirty, the other ones that I have washed will be dry and ready to roll. So um, hopefully I won't ever have to do hundreds like I have have done recently in the past, which you know, my own fault. Instead of washing them, I just grab a different one. <laughs> I'm really not lazy, I promise you. I'm just busy. So, anyways, I hope you like this unbagging. Um, I'm, I'm sure everybody is getting the same ones, so let me know if you like this, if you got these, if you're happy with it, which ones you're excited to use. And if you don't get a Morphe Me subscription and you're interested, I will put a link down in the information box. I do believe it is a referral code that is attached to my name. And like I've said on the previous video, I'm not at all worried about getting some charms. So if you would like to get the subscription, feel free to use my referral link. But if not, just go straight to Morphe Me and get yourself a subscription. I will again annotate, I believe it's 10 or $11. I think it's $10. You know what? Now that I've done this whole video, and the problem is, is I have so many subscription programs that I get them confused. This is not 10 or $11, this is $20. Um, $20, it's 20 bucks, $19.99. Um, and they guarantee you $30 worth of brushes. So, yeah. I, I would say to you that one day I'll get my stuff together, but I know that's not true. So hopefully you love me anyway, and hopefully you don't mind my scatterbrainedness that I always seem to have. But thank you for being here, and thank you for watching the unboxing. And hopefully if you haven't gotten yours yet, though now you know what you're going to be getting, and hopefully you're excited about one or all of them. So I hope I will see you guys again soon. Until then, if you enjoyed the video... I hope that you'll give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I really appreciate your time. And until the next time I see you, take care and God bless. Bye, guys. Whoa.